There are days I'm like, damn, bro, you bad. But there are also plenty of days where I feel like I'm a stranger to myself. I feel like I don't recognize myself. I look at the mirror and I don't know who or what I'm looking at. And my channel if you haven't subscribed yet then make sure that you click the subscribe button below and join the revolution so let me start off by saying you already know what I'm gonna say it's 15k for the babies <laughs> thank you guys so much for 15,000 subscribers listen guys I, I've been saying this thing let's get to 20k quick so if you're watching this and you haven't subscribed are you not embarrassed this is really embarrassing first of all you're rude you are so rude second of all you don't have to be rude for the rest of your life okay you can just click subscribe now thirdly if you have subscribed thank you so much and i urge you guys please do share my channel and my videos with other people get them to check it out to subscribe and let us get more people to be a part of the revolution second of all i want to give a shout out to amani karim a shout out to you thank you so much for all the love that you showed to my channel and if you are interested in a shout out do a comment down below and let me know that you are subscribed you have your notifications on and that you would like to be given a shout out now something else i wanted to find out from you guys so let me just get the admin out of the way number one do you guys feel like it's time we get like some kind of name like you know how people have like names for like you know the family so we can like have a name so do you guys think it's about time we get a name and if you think so then please comment down below and let me know what are some of your ideas of names that we can have for all of us as a collective oh and the next thing you guys will let me know if you're interested in this and if you're not interested I'm not gonna do it but I wanted to know if you guys would be interested in doing my intro for me so pretty much having someone submit a video to me where they'll be like hi guys welcome to the channel if you haven't subscribed yet you know basically that whole little intro that I do in the beginning so if you guys would be interested in like doing that like if you want to see yourself on the channel doing the intro then let me know and if I get enough positive responses for this idea then I'll actually put it into motion so now that we are done with the admin part let's get into the juice baby baby so in today's video I'm going to be talking about some things that I would say I've struggled with since having my breast reduction so I don't want to take too much time so let's go my boys Got to see it through my boy. So the first point that I want to talk about, which, you know, I, to I just want to start with it. And it's a rather awkward one. It is that everybody thinks they can look at your boobs. Everybody thinks they can comment on your boobs. Like you having had a surgery, or let me say me having had a surgery. I, I understand that, you know, the people in my life, I guess, <laughs> or just people in general <laughs> are interested in seeing what boobs look like post breast reduction. But I mean, I've had people approach me and say, hey, can you show me like, or send me a picture of your boobs so I can see? And when they say, send me a picture, my boys, honey, my love, they're not talking about bam, here's a picture. No, 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 no. They're talking about pull down your t-shirt. Let me see your raw titties. Let me see what's under your t-shirt because I think I've got a right to your body now that you've had a surgery. That's weird. Some people have made weird requests asking to see my boobs. And um, there are people who, when I see them in person, and this is not limited to people I don't know, but people I do know, instead of like openly acknowledging like oh hey like your boobs look great instead they're gonna do like a weird stealing looks thing like they'll just like i'll be talking to them i want you guys to follow my eyes when i do this example they'll be like yeah you know i'm really happy that you got to eat that carrot cake because i'm a real fan of uh, carrot cake and i'm glad you got to try it out so if you guys follow my eyes you'll see that like their eyes will be shifting down to my chest when they're talking to me and that's why by the way for the for the guys who don't know the reason why women can always tell when you're looking at our boobs is 
because when we're having a conversation, I'm looking at you, eh? I'm looking at you in your eyes, or I'm looking at you in your face, and you are looking down. Like I'm looking at your eyes, and I'm seeing your eyes go down. Okay. So essentially, this breast reduction has made people feel like they have a certain right to my boobs that they never felt they had before. Um, but to be quite honest, I really would prefer if people could be blunt about it because when you're not blunt, you are making things awkward for me and for you and for the entire human race. Eh? Heal the world. I would rather have people be like, oh hey, like, they, they look great since the reduction or like just be blunt about it you know what I mean like instead of being all awkward and like stealing looks and ish you know so now the next point getting into the real nitty-gritty of it the real like struggle type ish this one is one that I knew about but I sure wasn't ready for and that is you chances are you will lose sensation in your boobs <laughs> Now you can lose sensation in the boob area or you can lose sensation in the nipple area. Now in my particular instance, I lost sensation or feeling in my boob area and not my nipple area. So like for instance, if you pinch me like here, somewhere here, I'm not going to feel it. And obviously I can feel that your hands are on me and you're pinching me, but what I'm saying is the pain receptors, I'm not gonna feel like pain of ow, but if you pinch me like, up here then I can feel that oh you're you're like pinching me so like this bottom area of my boob like this whole side to bottom area has no feeling and then this top side small side here has feeling then this side has no feeling and then this side too is like this side has feeling and then this whole like this bottom side has no feeling top side has feeling so i've lost some feeling in some parts of my boobs but i do have sensation in my nipple. this is a pretty hard one you know because you go from being someone who can honestly feel your whole entire boob to like knowing that you cannot feel it i've seen some people say it's taken up to six months to a year for them to get feeling back however there are plenty of people who don't get their feeling back at all someone dm me and let me know that they had a reduction and there was just no feeling in their nipples whatsoever and they were not happy about it because for them like nipple stimulation is a huge part of um you know sexual intimacy for them so she was quite upset about that let me answer the question do i care that i don't feel it or does it heavily affect me honestly it it, it like i do feel that i don't feel funny huh um but it doesn't make me cry i don't sit in my room and think about what i've lost but it is kind of like unfortunate i don't think it's a train smash if it doesn't it's just a bit on the sides you know so i don't think it's a i don't think it's a big deal however where it does kind of sting and this leads me to my next point is itchiness my boy itchy 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 the boobies the girlies, the honeys, the babies, they get hella itchy, especially by the scarring. So as I explained, they're scarring at the bottom and up through the middle and then around the nipple area. That's where scarring is. So you tend to feel some itching around down here and sometimes a little bit going up um, and sometimes just in the general boob but the problem with the itching right is that number one you're scared to scratch because you don't want to if up your scars number two which is really the big one is and I find frustrating is sometimes I get itchy in the parts of my boobs that I cannot feel so it's like I'm scratching and it's like I'm, I'm not feeling the scratch I'm not feeling the relief of the scratch like eventually the, the itch goes away as I scratch it'll go away but it's like it's not that nice feeling of when you have a scratch or when you have an itch and you scratch and it's like oh great okay. so that's what I when I would say I feel it most that I don't feel my boob I do get kind of like oh that sucks when I scratch and I can't feel the next point is scarring now one thing about scarring is people scar differently based on who you are so doctors cannot guarantee you a specific type of scarring Result because it literally differs from person to person so as I mentioned in my previous video my doctor says I scar pretty well so like for me my scars uh, you can't you can see them but like you can't really see them like but scarring can be pretty bad like it can literally be like this whole huge area under your boob for me as a person I don't really mind the scars too much you know for some people scarring can cause a lot of insecurity because it makes you feel unattractive and I understand because you go from having this body that is 
normal you don't have scars on your boobs or anything you know to suddenly now you have these marks around your nipple and down and under it can cause a lot of insecurity but I don't share that because and, and don't get me wrong while my scarring is not bad they are scars but I don't feel that insecurity so much because for me I see it as a part of my story like the scars are there for a reason I had a breast reduction surgery to better my quality of life and I've got scars and so if I get to a point where I'm now being intimate with a man then it's like if he's like oh my god you have scars you're like he's just not the one because that's stupid and I think of scars as I do stretch marks I've gotten to the point where I no longer really register my stretch marks and my baby oh they are everywhere I got these stretch marks on my belly at the bottom and I was devastated because it just it was horrible the things I was saying to myself I was like you know you look gross you're disgusting but I've really come to learn to accept my stretch marks as a part of life and a part of growth it happens it's really not a big deal and I think media perpetuates this idea as you see your Kim K's and whoever with these perfect bodies with no marks and no cellulite and no scars is it, it like it's it's ridiculous that we aim to literally look like Barbie. A Barbie doll, a doll, an unrealistic being or thing, not even a being, a thing. But the reality is real people, and not just women, real people have scars, real people have cellulite, real people have body marks. Nobody has a perfectly clear body. You are born with marks for goodness sakes and the body will grow so for me scarring is not like a huge doesn't make me insecure it's not a big deal for me because I guess you know what let me also acknowledge that maybe I feel this way because the scars are not aggressive because if they were all like super bad and change the whole color of like half my boob then maybe maybe I'd feel a different way now, this next point is where I would say I've really had maybe the biggest struggle and that is with back pain so the reason why I had a breast reduction in the first place is because I was having severe back pain now I feel like after my surgery I actually feel like my back pain is worse it's upsetting me in my home girl and so it's not worse in uh, feeling for instance like it doesn't feel more painful but I feel that it happens more frequently so before maybe I could walk for like 15 minutes before the back pain sets in and now I walk for like 10 minutes five minutes and the pain starts to set in so I would say it sets in much quicker than before so that's something that I've really struggled with and I found frustrating is because I had this whole entire surgery to correct my back pain I still have the back pain so what did I do the surgery for what's the point did I really do the right thing if it doesn't fix the problem that I had so that's something that you know I definitely wrestle around with and the back pain guys it really hurts my feelings like it just makes me feel inadequate incapable you know and I know it may sound like I'm being dramatic or something but like it's not nice going to a mall and I walk for like five minutes and literally my back hurts and I have to sit down like I just I can't do regular activity that people that people can do without feeling a crazy amount of strain you know and it's 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 really sad it's really painful you know and so i'm seeing a chiropractor and i'm going to continue seeing one when i get to america and i'm hoping it will help with my back pain but when you read up about people who had a breast reduction they'll be like oh my gosh like the back pain reduced significantly my whole life changed immediately my whole life didn't change things didn't change significantly for me so it's really more aesthetic things that have changed for me but the functional one the pain is it hasn't changed you know and and I think maybe this is coming from a place of impatience and pain but I'm sure if I give it time and I'm resilient and I try and I continue to just you know work on it I'm sure it'll get better over the years the next struggle that you might find yourself having after a breast reduction is that some clothes will fit 
and the clothes will not. So like I said, I'm able to fit into some t-shirts that I was able to wear before and it's so cute, you know what I mean? Like now I can wear things without a bra. Like honestly, I bought a, 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 what do you call it? A strapless bra for the vibes because these honeys, these girls don't need a bra. They don't need support, okay? They're independent women who can stand on their own two cells. <laughs> Um, but you also will find a situation where your other clothes will not fit you like something that I'm kind of confused now is like how on earth do I buy clothing because before when I bought clothes I had to factor in my boobs so now when I buy clothing you find that like it's kind of small here but it's bigger down here so it's like am I a large am I an extra large am I like a 3xl like what size am I? How do I buy my clothing? So that's something that I'm still trying to navigate now. And this leads me to actually one of the most important points. One of the, yeah, yeah no, this one is actually one of the most challenging and that is body image, guys. Your whole body changes. Well, it doesn't change, but the perception of it changes. The way you see it changes. Now, I'm someone whose body has always grown in proportion. So like when I gain weight, everything becomes bigger. So I maintain my shape, but I'm just bigger or smaller, but everything's always been in proportion. And one thing about having big boobs, my boy, they sure do hide your tummy. They sure do hide your tummy. So my uh, boobs used to hide my belly and so one of the fears i had when i was having the surgery is what if now i look like i literally have the biggest belly in the whole wide world but actually what happened after my surgery is the smaller the chest the bigger the hips you know what i mean like since having my surgery i actually look thicker because now that my chest is smaller, everything else at the top is kind of smaller and then it gets bigger by my hips, you know what I mean? So I actually look more thick, shall I say? Um, but I would say that my belly, I feel my belly does poke more. You have to adapt to having a whole new body and this can actually cause a lot of insecurities, a lot of body issues. You literally look, like starting from the boob area, you look at your boobs and you have to adapt to like, these are mine now. These are what my boobs look like now. When you do the surgery, they cut your areola. Like bro, like I don't even know what they did with my areola. Like do they throw that ish away? But the the, the areola, the brown part or the, or the red part, depending on your um, race or the black part or whatever, surrounding the boob like surround surrounding the nipple mine was like bro i kid you not it was probably like this size like it was probably this size or maybe a little bit bigger i don't think it was even a tad bit bigger than that and now it's like freaking tiny like it's not even this big it's like it's just enough to carry <laughs> it's just enough to carry a nipple you know so things like that from i'm used to having this kind of areola and now it looks like this you pay a lot of attention to your boobs like i've been staring at my nipples like do all nipples look like that are they supposed to be like that are they a little too inverted like did they always rise like that did they always come out like that so you find yourself questioning stuff like that uh, speaking for myself in particular at days where i'm like damn sis you are super kind of thick and listic spl a baddie like tastes so good make you want to slap your mama look at that flick of that hip that hip look at that flick of that waist that waist look at that flick of that you know whatever flick of everything you know so there are days i'm like damn bro you bad but there are also plenty of days where i feel like i'm a stranger to myself i feel like i don't recognize myself i look at the mirror and i don't know who or what i'm looking at and it's hard to adapt and understand that this is me. So, the next point I wanna talk about is the bloating. After my surgery, I had a lot of bloating. Like I would literally eat small, small, small food. My stomach would bloat and it would be like, it would look so big and it would be like hard and like, you know, I wouldn't wanna eat and when I do eat, it's a problem. That's something that I never struggled with before my surgery. Now I did have bloating here and there, like on a blue moon or when you're on your period, you have bloating, but the way it was, after to my surgery like literally almost every day I was literally bloated so the last point that I want to talk about today guys is pretty much the reality is you will ask yourself a few times I asked myself I've asked myself 
Did I really make the right choice? Did I really make the right decision? And for me, I ask myself this because again, I had the surgery because of back pain, but now I feel my back pain even more. Sometimes I've got bloating, like the negatives are just so in my face sometimes. I'm like, why did I go and do this to myself? Why did I do this thing that was not, was it even necessary? Did I really need this? I could have lived without it. There are times I look at my old pictures and I see my boobies and I'm like, damn, but they were so cute like this. They, they just built up the t-shirt so nicely. But yeah, you you will ask yourself, did I make the right decision? And, th and there'll be days where you feel like, no, you didn't. And there'll be days where you're like, this is the best decision of my life. If I could do it again, I would do it 10 times over. <laughs> In conclusion, and to answer that question, do I think I made the right choice? I think I did. Because right now my back is suffering from the years of back strain, you understand? And so over time, God willing, it will be able to get some relief because it's no longer being strained by boobs of that magnitude. Number two, for my own esteem, it's nice to be able to go inside a store and buy a bra there. It's nice to be able to have more options, you know? Aesthetically, these hands are cute, guys. I'm not gonna lie. Like, these girlies, so, like, sometimes I look at them and I'm like, do they look like real boobs? Because they look kind of fake. They look kind of like, you know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> you know, like, they look really good. Shout out to my doctor. Is it something I would consider doing again, again, again in future? No, because one surgery is enough. And if these hands grow again, which they can, they can grow big and grow small again. But if these hands grow again, I sham. Clearly, I was meant to be a part of the big TD committee. That's it for today, guys. I hope you liked this video. Don't forget to comment, like, share, and subscribe. And I will be back with more videos. Peace and love, guys.